Hello everyone. Welcome to AVSwap. Today we are going to see scheduler in the Spring Boot. So as part of this video, we will see what is the purpose of scheduler and how to enable and start the scheduling in the Spring Boot. So let's start without wasting the time. So I am using Spring Tool Suit to create a Spring Boot project. So here I can see the option. So we can create a product by right clicking or we can directly click here. So create a new spring starter project. And then uh, the name of product is scheduler and select here the Maven and click on the next. And you don't need to select any dependency here and then finish. Once you finish, the project will get created here. And yes, created. Now you can see there is a default package and inside the default package there is a default class. So create our own class new class and give the name to that class called as a my scheduler finish so before we start let me tell you what is the purpose of scheduler so basically many time in the project there is a requirement as per that requirement, we need to execute a specific operation again and again on the specific time. For example, let's say there is a requirement. As per that requirement, we have to send the email to the customer after every one hour. So for that, we can go for the scheduler. Or there are many operations that should be executed after specific time. Let's say after one second, after one minute, or after every one month, or after every one year like that so in that case we can write a java logic but it's very complex logic and it is not efficient so in that case we can go for the spring boot scheduler so let's start with our first program for the scheduler so first we need to write our class and on that class we need to provide the annotation called as a component then it will get part of the spring boot as a bean. Now the second annotation is at the rate enable scheduling. Okay, so at the rate enable scheduling. Now let's write a method that method should execute again and again. So let's take method called as a public public void then uh, send email. So here we are not going to write the logic for sending the email, but yes, we can write here the dummy logic like sysout and sending email. Now the requirement is I want to send this email after one minute or after every five seconds or two seconds or one second, whatever. So how to do that? So there is one annotation called as a address scheduler scheduled. Okay. And here you can specify the time like this. So control space, then you can see there are multiple options. So I'm choosing the fixed delay. When I choose the fixed delay, we have to provide here the time in the millisecond. So by default, it is taking the time in the millisecond. So let's say I want to execute this method after every five seconds, then provide here. 5000 millisecond, which is equal to five seconds. That's it. After this, uh, let's start the program. Click here and run the application. So see in the console, sending email. Then after five seconds, again sending email. So let's wait for five seconds. Now the third sending email. So it's keep going after every five seconds. So in that way, you can schedule the any method for execution. Now, apart from this, uh, is there any other option to change that millisecond to minute or hour? Yes, there are multiple options. You can see here. So come to here, control space. You can see multiple options. In the multiple option, you can select the time unit. So by default, the time unit is a millisecond. But now I want to make the time unit as a in hour. So control space, you can see there are multiple options. 
So time units, unit is a day, hour, microsecond, millisecond, minutes, nanosecond, and seconds. So let's select the seconds. Okay, so now the time unit is second and comma and provide the seconds. Fixed delay is equal to in second, five seconds. So that method will get executed after every five seconds. If I want to execute this method after one day, then change here, control space and select day. Let me stop the application, select the days. That means after every five days, that method will get executed. So in that way, you can schedule the scheduler day wise or hour wise or minute or microsecond or millisecond. But sometime the requirement will be, uh, I want to execute or I want to send the email on uh, 1st Jan or 31st Jan or uh, once in a week or on the one day or on Tuesday. Uh, so that kind of custom requirement will be there might be in some time as per the business requirement. So we can do these things by using the Java coding, but yes, it's very difficult. So Spring Boot saying, okay, don't worry. I will provide the way. So what is the way? So here there is an option called as a cron expression. So instead of um, providing the fixed delay, we can provide here the cron expression. So how to do that? Adult schedule, control space, and you can see the cron expressions. So what is the cron expression? So this is the expression where we can define a specific time of the day, hour, minute, millisecond, or year or month. So how to create that cron expressions? We can create by ourselves, but there are a lot of online tools by using that tool, we can create a cron expressions for specific day as per our requirement. So how to do that? Let's see. Open the Google, okay. Uh, open the Google here. Mm, let's say cron expression, search here cron expression. Now there are multiple tools. We can use that online tool. Uh, let's select user friendly tool. Okay, select this. Okay, so here you can see there is an operation. There is a option to create the cron expressions. And uh, for example, I want to execute once in a month or day in one day, once a, once a day. So I have click, click on the day and I can see it here every day. Then for that every day, this is the cron expression. Uh, let's say I want to execute once in a week or on the specific day of the week. So let's say I want to execute on Sunday and Wednesday. Then the cron expression is this. You can copy this cron expression. Okay. And then you can paste here. That's it. So that will get executed on Sunday and on only Wednesday. Now my requirement is I want to execute on the um, last day of month. So select this. So you select that this is the cron expression. Copy and then paste here. So in that case, it will execute on the last day of the month. So that's the use of cron expression and scheduler. It makes a developer's life very easy. So if you like this video, so please share and subscribe. And thanks again for watching the video.